Driven Driving Intelligence Community. Well, this is going to be a pretty simple video. It's uh, the repair of a 2010 Ford Edge. It's a very simple repair. It's something that most entry-level mechanics can do, and I'll get into plenty of the details later on. But what I want to do first is dedicate this video to our veterans. Now, I decided recently to dedicate some of my time or donate some of my time to veterans in the area because I had no idea how difficult it is for some of them to re-engage with the community. They're suffering from PTSD, injuries, other issues. And I just felt like uh, they've served me and the country. I feel like I need to serve them as well. Now, this veteran who owns this vehicle was a US, is a U.S. Army veteran, and she comes to me from Vets Helping Vets of the Upstate. They're uh, in Greenville, South Carolina, and I believe they're Vets Helping Vets all throughout the nation. I'm going to donate half of my YouTube revenues for this video to that organization on a monthly basis, and the way you can help me is by clicking that like, by commenting below, and sharing this video, and that will push this video on to many more YouTube viewers. And again, that will increase the revenues, which will increase my contribution to the veterans community here in the upstate. Now, this car is suffering from an oil leak, and it causes horrible smells in the cab, and it also causes a lot of smoke coming out from the hood from time to time. So we're going to fix that in this video. Stay tuned. I inspected the engine bay to determine where the burnt oil smell and smoke were coming from. As soon as I opened the hood, I saw the telltale signs of an oil leak around one of the coil packs that was dripping onto the exhaust manifold. When I pulled the coil, I saw oil in the spark plug well indicating the seal around the spark plug was leaking. I ordered a cam cover gasket kit from Amazon which I'll link below. Now even though this video covers the 2007 to current model Ford Edge, the process will work for any other Ford vehicle with a 3.5 liter engine like the Explorer, F-150, Expedition, Flex, Taurus, Transit, Lincoln MKS, Lincoln MKT, and the Lincoln Navigator. Removing the valve cover at the front of the engine is very easy, requiring no special tools. This video will not cover the cam cover at the back of the engine because it's not leaking, but with interest through comments posted to this video, I'll prepare another video showing how to get to the back of the engine. Start by disconnecting the wiring harnesses, remove the PCV tube, remove the three coils, disconnect the cam position sensor, and then loosen all the cam cover bolts. Now to show this process at an accelerated video rate. Installing the cam cover, it's important to follow a specific torque sequence. I could not find a suitable source for the exact information online, but after years of doing these, I did the following. I initially installed all the cam cover bolts finger tight. You'll see I lightly ran them in with a drill driver and then tightened them a little further with a quarter inch ratchet. Finally, I used a torque wrench to apply 89 inch pounds of torque to each cam cover bolt starting from the middle, then alternating back and forth to the ends of the cam cover. This spreads the load evenly on the gasket, preventing leaks, but do not over tighten. This could cause leaks and at worst, snap a bolt.
With everything buttoned back up, I always make a final inspection to ensure nothing is left to chance and I send that repaired vehicle on its way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please support our military and first-line emergency responders. Until next time, thanks for watching Driving Intelligence.